Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to be educated before you start using real money. Uh, it is amazing. Christmas is just two days away and uh, it was a little volatility today. This is unexpected uh, this time of year. Uh, and um, the market was moving today and uh, we are showing every day the same time frame and we highlight which one we like the most uh, and which time frame uh, we we build consistency on and uh, today I wanted to start with the precision auto trade uh, we still have a trade on the gold and uh, we still have actually one trade on the ES um, on uh, this uh, ES five minutes uh, we don't use uh, a daily target we just let it run and I took one trade here one this one here is uh, we do it uh, if you this this chart here has been running non-stop today and there is five hundred dollars on that trade and uh, there is one thousand seven hundred sixty two on the previous trades on the last trade here it was five hundred twelve no i'm sorry here it was a short the trade didn't go and uh, we were above two thousand dollar but we had this lousy losing trade in here uh, put us back but now we got the three four hundred dollars plus seventeen hundred this one here does not stop keep running all uh, all day long we do this for testing uh, the CL is 880 long and the rest of the market the same charts every day we show uh, they all hit the target we're gonna start with the uh, 25 second which we have covered why we are using a smaller time frame uh, we were done before 10 o'clock this is my whole idea is to be done before 11 o'clock start around 8 9 o'clock morning done by 11 12 get it over with and move on you know this is after many years I find it is the best than to sit miserably behind a computer all day long you can do that if you are, you have the patience for it but uh, once you hit the target I don't see the meaning to sit behind the computer uh, you know do something with your life or try to get educated or trying to uh, learn a manual trade not to to do manual trade but to try to learn manual trade because that will help you with auto trade and understand how the market works uh, just for education we don't want you to trade manually anymore um, anyway this is the ES 25 second a YM 7 range uh, a beautiful uh, one two three four and uh, it was done uh, ES three minutes this is a very stable uh, time frame uh, the three minutes made 1400 uh, the DAX, um, I use the same chart every day for many months. We only have one chart uh, on the DAX, and it is four minutes, and this is my favorite chart, the four minutes, and it is 2,822. We're on the TI7 did much better, but we will cover that on the different auto trade, but this is my favorite chart for the DAX. Auto trading is a very consistent uh, and um, doing a good job. Uh, I always highlight uh, the 590 takes uh, NASDAQ every single day. I highlight the same chart and it's been consistent for many months and we don't even, I don't even, um, um, I thought about messing with it by, but why messing with it when it's working? So this one here has been for a few months very consistent and on every video I highlight the the 10 the 590 takes for Nasdaq and the 10 second for ES so or you can use 20 second for ES 
uh, 46 seconds today uh, on the ES 1200. On the CL4 range, 1000 hit the target. On the ES5 range, 1100. On the ES30 second, uh, 2100. On the ES4 range, 1225. You know, it's, it's, it's almost with the same range price between the 4 range and the 5 range. The difference is um, you can clear some of the noises if you are using 5 range, but you can use the 4 range as well. Uh, 28 second hit the target 1000, the 10 second, which I love a lot, the 10 second, the 10 second took one two and three done before before 11 o'clock and this is the whole idea about auto trading so this is a brilliant one and then es 170 takes we've been highlighting a lot about the 170 takes for the last couple of three months it's not the thousand dollar but if you notice here how there is hardly any losing trades on the 170 takes, which I prefer that to chase a wild goose. I prefer to have consistency than a just chasing PNL. Uh, NASDAQ, three minutes, is a very fair time frame to use, 2,000. And the nine range ES a little bit high, 1,000. If you notice between one, nine range, one, it's 1,000. And the 10 second is uh, 1100. So why dealing with nine range when you, if you have a good auto trade can handle 10 seconds? You see, this is the whole idea. Then you have the Russell uh, 1260. So uh, when you have a very, a very good uh, auto trade, you don't have to uh, use uh, a lot. This is coming from the signal. Uh, we have a five automated trade from the signal uh, from the market analyzer and it's coming from this one here this is the last entry which it was seconds ago and you don't need to trade all of it you only need to trade maybe ES NASDAQ down zones this is a scalp in 15 seconds there is five different automated trade on it and if we look at the YM, the YM is 69 takes, $340 because of one contract, two contract, YM is $700. So this is a, it comes with a five different automated trade and it is really something else. Also, this one here is the same system, comes with a five different automated trades as well. It's the same system, but this one here is one minute. And for swing trading, and this one here, uh, it is uh, for uh, a scalping uh, 15 seconds. And the scalping don't underestimate it. If this market is moving, and if the market is trending, uh, the target moves by itself. And when the market is not moving, then that, that the target starts chasing the market, which is very clever the way we have built this. And if you notice, because this market is trending, it's extending the target automatically for you. And that is a brilliant. And all what you need to do, keep your eye on it. And as you see right now, we got a new signal on the gold. And uh, now you can see a zero profit on the gold because it's now taking a new trade. And now it is now in the trade and that's why uh, you see the 305 base on the last entry is not the whole uh, day in the market. So this is this is uh, my favorite system because what you do, you apply those uh, small signals with the fib lines. And that can, if you notice where is your trailing stop, your trailing stop is based on a fib line. It's not the dummy auto trailing. And this is a very technical automated to trade. And it is brilliant if somebody want to combine auto trade with uh, his knowledge. For some people, they've been around for a long time, but now they start getting slow and uh, they need an automated uh, in conjunction with their knowledge. That will be brilliant. 
for the guys don't have any knowledge with trading, then it will be the precision auto trade or the scalper. Uh, if you have a knowledge on both of sides, then we're going to show you the TI-7. The TI-7, you can trim the TI-7 the way you want it, have a huge variety of entry and filters, exit, scalping, swing trading. So let me show you the uh, TI-7. Uh, as we have uh, promised you uh, before uh, that uh, if you want to uh, try to use those higher time frame, we have the best system for a higher time frame. And this kind of uh, TI-7, there is an entry, there is many different entries, but there is one entry. Uh, it is especially for those high time frame, avoiding a big stop loss. And uh, it is uh, based on a price line and a neutral. And that it is very clever uh, if you want to use a big picture in the trading. As we see, uh, you can manually uh, close it if you want to. There we go, closed for today. And it is 8,125 on the NASDAQ. I took this first trade, and then it took the second trade around 12 o'clock, non-stop, chasing the trend. The trick in here, if you want to use a higher time frame like this one here, you cannot use a stop loss and a trade and a stop. What you need, the price line. So what it happened in here, if there is any changes in the trend, the auto trade shut down that trade or if you took a trade and the market did not go to your direction it's going to shut it down and reopen position and and that's this is the only way you can trade a higher time frame uh, the way uh, um, we have told you that if we want to do this we can do that and it is an amazing uh, how much you can get out of it so on the uh, on this one here it is uh, done for today 8125 on the nasdaq this is a very very uh, powerful concept uh, if you want to uh, just you know you're busy uh, you don't want to chase the market on every bumper uh, it is very good you know if you want to go this direction our job is uh, we are a tool provider, we're not no miracle, and we are a tool provider and we teach you how to use the higher time frame, the lower time frame, higher risk, lower risk, it depends what kind of person you are, how well you are educated, you can go for a big fish, you can go for scalping, you can go for whatever you want. Uh, let me show you uh, on the signal while we are talking from the market analyzer. Uh, just fire the long trade and look at this despite the the scalper on the from the market analyzer is extending the target but yet we have a different system in here look at this it's telling you to sell so we don't depend on one system you know like an aircraft in the older days not now uh, in the older days, you have a hydraulic A system and hydraulic B system before the electronics kicked in, you know. Um, uh, you have an A, uh, like if you take in DC-8, was you have hy uh, hydraulic A, hy hydraulic B, hydraulic C. And and um, and uh, uh, in the trading, uh, also, we don't depend on one system. We would like to have confirmation when you are trading. So if you look, is telling you uh, the system here is a plot and, and this is not a, a, a repaint indicator this is not a repaint indicator it confirm and it tell you to sell it gives you an early warning it gave you an early warning when it was hitting the fib line at 46 and that can give you is telling you so it don't need it does not need, require for a guy um, no price action but what require to read what the chart that's all what we are asking uh, to read what the chart is telling you that's it learn the charts what is telling you we don't want you to um, 
We learned that long time ago. If you leave the trader in charge, he's going to fall on his head. So what we try to do, we try to put all the warning sign on the chart and all what he has to do, do the proper training to learn how to read the chart, what the chart is telling him. That's all what we are asking from a trader. So this is on the last trade, 2800. And uh, if you want to, you can close it or you can sit down and look at it, wait on it. 30 range, 3995. And it's been on that trade for a very long time. And it is perfect to start taking that trade around 11 o'clock. Here is what I'm trying to explain to you, which I have seen it. Some people trying to use 30 range ES with a 500 ticks of stop loss. This is dead for an account. Or if you have one bad trade, your money you lose. But look at this, how clever, why this one here is more advanced automated trade than a dummy trading stop and a 500 ticks a stop loss. What I have seen, it is $5,000 risk to get $300 on 30 range chart. This is a suicide trade. One bad trade can wipe up your whole account. That's not the way to be done. Look at this. Took a beautiful trade early in the morning, European hours. Around uh, before, around 10.30, right there, around 10.30, took a short trade, and the direction has changed. This one here is not based on a stop loss. It is based on the trend. And, and as we notice here, when the market change in direction, immediately close it with least cost. It's not what is the uh, the system PNL is going to make when you want to play this game the big fish like this one here those kind of charts you don't want to put 100 ticks a stop last and a dummy trailing stop let me tell you one thing any little pullback is gonna knock you out of a good trade does not work this way anyone has been around have common sense he understand you cannot trade those higher time frame with a trillion stop and a stop loss. That will be a final nail in your account coffin. You know, it is not the way. I mean, you don't throw a trader with 500 ticks of stop loss, $5,000 risk to for him to get 300. You can buy a few kilo bananas and sell them. Your risk is much less than that kind of 30. I couldn't believe what I have seen. That show how amateur people are or how uh, they don't care about people's account. They don't have any sweat to make a guy lose $5,000 on one single trade just to promote an indicator or an auto trade with no dignity, no self-respect. So this is this is the proper way to uh, to if you want to go with those uh, bigger time frame. This is the proper way where your your cost effect is a crucial on that kind of trade because. If you are using 500 ticks and you have a bad trade, one bad trade, you're out of the game if your account is $5,000. You don't risk $5,000 for 300, then you are in the wrong business. You know, go, you know, buy a container orange or bananas and sell it on the street. That will be much more profitable than that. You don't need to trade for that. Anyway, uh, this is a YM595. We've been highlighting that. Very consistent, not much losing trades. 1,000, happy camper, is fine. YM29 range, it took one trade, 1,630 on that. Again, let me show you how. In the trading, there is no such a thing long and short. There is something called sideway. When this sideway algorithm is missing, you're a dead meat in the market. 
because there is no market positive or negative. Only amateur traders think this way because also there is a sideway, there is a different color in the market. You know, and, and when you are trading a blue and red only, you are missing one element in there, and that is this element. So when the market is sideways, you are hitting disaster. When the market is in turbulence, you're freaking out here because your dummy auto trade is just going long and short, cannot recognize when the market change in direction, you are already in trouble. Before you optimize, before you do anything, you're already in trouble. Again, guys, uh, 2022 is going to be tough. It's going to filter a lot of bad traders in this business. And uh, you remember, when you are going live, there is somebody else is using smarter tools, faster tools, and they have education. And you're not the only guy in the, in the game where you think you're going to look at the auto trade as a wash machine, you turn it on, or as a coffee machine, and then it comes the dollars from the other end. When you turn on your uh, life account, you have to remember somebody is much more advanced than you. And if you don't have the proper education, the proper gears, you're going to fall behind whether you like it or you don't. You're going to fall behind. You're going to lose your money by, because you are being cheap or being ignorant in the market. You don't understand how the market works. Then you're going to pay the price. Here, there is no place for ignorance. There is no place for naivety. There is no place for amateur people. You don't do your education. You don't learn the trick. You don't have the best tools you're going to fall behind, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, you know. So here is, you earn your stripes as you go in the trading. You cannot come in, turn on your wash machine, and now you're going to kick everybody's butt because you have an, an, an automated trade based on an ATR. You want to kick everybody's butt and take everybody's money. You're not. You're just fooling yourself. And uh, you've been uh, a very naive trader. If you notice also, again, on the 29 range, let me show you the difference between us. Uh, and here what it is. With the same price, with the same price, you can get one lousy ATR auto trade. Or you can get 15 auto trade with education and free updates. With the same price and 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 so you can buy one kilo tomato or you can buy the whole container with the same price and a better quality so think about it so if you notice here why we are comfortable to trade those kind of charts because this market, look, look at this one here. I don't want to talk about p &Ls. This one did go south. In any given day, you have to prepare for the worst. Because the market always, always surprise us. It's like the weather. You know, there is a, there is a three W's in this life is mystery. Seriously, there is three W's. Women, weather, and work. Those three W's are mystery in our life. And uh, the, th the fourth one is the, the market, is mystery. From one day to another, is, it, is, it is surprising. So this one here, if we want to go back and look at, at this chart here, if we look at it, I will take it short manually, of course. And then what happened... And this is, if we are looking at it at this direction right now, because we don't see what happened here after the fact. I will go short for it. It seems like I'm going to be missing trend. And then the market surprised us and kicked back. You see? So immediately this auto trade saved our, our, uh, our skin, actually. 
because if you are on a 500 ticks a stop loss or a 100 ticks a stop loss, because I couldn't believe what I have seen on the stop loss. And people are so naive, they don't ask, what is your stop loss on this? What is your risk reward on this? Oh, oh this is a good PNL. I want it. Well, before we look at the PNL, see how much you can afford and how much your account can take a beat uh, before you become successful. So if we notice when the when the market turn against us here, and it is surprising whether you are a manual trader or an auto trader, you know, this is a surprising element here. And there we go. What happened? The auto trade shut it off immediately. And then if we look, oh man, why this auto trade shut it down? It's going back down. And then the auto trade took that trade. And then look what the market did. Surprise us again. You see? After the fact, it's so easy to analyze. That's why you see plenty of people with the light bulbs on their head. They want to explain what happened after the fact. The reality is it is easy to analyze the market after the fact, but it is very hard to predict the market when it's unknown. So you can see the auto trade took the proper entry, but the market keeps surprising us. It's not the auto trade, it's the market movement. And guess what? The market is going to surprise us from now to our last day in our life. The market is going to keep surprising us. If we notice here, here is the yellow ones. You see? This means there is no reading. This is not an ATR. This is not a MACD. This is a, a base on the price line. It's much more higher advanced bar. It's not a dummy ATR plus or minus above or below moving average. When you are trading uh, above or below moving average, you are a dead meat before you even start. No matter how much you optimize, you're, there is one element missing in your auto trade, and there is something. It's no longer in 2022. You can come out with a Pinto uh, and um, or Fiat, and you're gonna sit on the next in the red light with somebody have a high performance car, and you think you're gonna smoke him out. You remember the guy is sitting on the other side. If he have better tools than you are, if he have more education than you are he's gonna take your money for every dollar you make somebody else lose one dollar so don't think you're clever by using auto trade and you think you're gonna pull it remember there is much more advanced people much more advanced tools you are fighting against it's not you're the only one auto trading you're not the only smart one auto trading there is a pizza man auto trading there is a truck driver auto trading. There is a pilot auto trading. And then you have a guy, he's been sitting behind the, the market for 10 years, 15 years, sticking his eyes out for 10 years. And you want to kick his butt, sit on his chair. He's not going to let you. He's going to fight you. He's going to take your money. And he's going to laugh at you when you lose. Again, if we notice here, the market change in direction. You see? So for me, this is perfect entry long because now the market turned around in neutral and now we are going above those levels. The market surprised us again. This is the worst nightmare. So the market, he closed that trade. Listen to this. Took the short, the market turned around again. And in those conditions, those surprising elements here, the, the turbulence in the market, if you are not aware of the cost of your stop loss, you are a dead meat. Your account is out. And then you can end up in some kind of forum how everyone mistreated you, and you are a smart guy. You did everything. You don't see any guy that goes on the net and say, I lost my money because I didn't do my training. You don't see a guy uh, going on the net, say, I was very aggressive with my auto trade and I was uh, and I lost money. What you read is the same thing. If he was a nice guy and everyone mistreated him and the auto trade made him lose money. The same guy you ask him, what the ES on what level was today when you lost money? I don't know. 
Was it positive or negative? I don't know. Where is the high low on the ES today? I don't know. Then how in the name of God you are trading and you don't know your corners, you don't know your levels, you don't know the numbers, you don't know if this market is on positive side or negative side. And how in the name of God you're going to earn your money if you have no idea where in the hell you are, you know. If you don't know where you are, how are you going to go from A to B, you know. So, a company will provide money to, uh, to a trader because they want him to babysit and manage the, the trades. A company, if this is the case, it just turn on, turn off, auto trade. They can go ahead and rent a warehouse, put a hundred computer, and have the house cleaning woman turn on the teacher within one hour how to turn on all the computers in the morning and activate the auto trade. The garbage collector can do that. The guy outside the hangar selling hamburgers can do that turn on the auto tray the guy is cleaning the restroom can just turn on ninja trader and turn on the auto trade those company they provide money for you to invest because they expecting you to manage it not to just turn it on and you think you're gonna get paid for it because you know how to turn on an auto trade they can do that too they have the money they can do that. They're, if they have the money, that means they are smart enough to do that. Trust me. So, uh, just because you have an auto trade, a wash machine, now you're expecting everyone to give you money because now you have a wash machine. No, you know, this is a technical automated trading requires management requires experience, knowledgeable, patient, educated. This one here took a trade and you can see the market turn around. I could have uh, break even on the auto trade, break even plus one tick so it will not be a losing trade. I can do that. But then here is what it is. The market is spikes once a day. And once this market spikes, we don't know what time. It could be 9.25, could be 9.30, could be 10.30, could be one hour before closing hours. The secret in the auto trading, surviving until we get the spike of the day. Once we accomplish the spike of the day, your mission is over for today, and there is nothing in the market but just a bunch of losers. Because what happened here, the market was running. I could have got much more out of that trade if I want to. And turbulence. And when the market was running, we nailed it. We covered all the losses. And then it is over. And if you want to play it right, you can play it right. You can go and, and right now, like if we look at the EAS, it's going. Then if you are smart enough or you have a company, uh, it's uh, giving you, you can use our FIB line, support indicators you can add on the auto trade. If you wanted to determine where is the max profit you can take on that. And then what you do, you say, okay, close position. I got 4,000, I got 2,000, I got 100, I got one banana. And then you can close if you want to override the auto trade. But we cannot adjust rent out our brain to the neighbor and then not using our brain and expecting everyone giving us money because we own an auto trade, you know, you know, so we cannot rent out our brain. Trust me, when you are trading, you have to be alert, keep your eye on it. You don't have to be constantly uh, looking at the charts, but you can Keep your eye on it to make sure you don't get overfilled, you lose internet connection, your computer all of a sudden restart, you know, Microsoft update, even if you turn it off, sometimes it happens, lose the power. 
on the DAX, we started the DAX and today nailed 7,000 and it could have get much more if I want to. I can use much higher time frame if I want to. I can grab much more than 7,000 if I want to. If you notice, this is what make it unique. If you notice here, it keep trending, trending, lock all the trend from the beginning till the end. Locked it. And then somehow, I don't know, here is a neutral, did not take the trade. And when the bars start going to the long, nailed $7,000 on that trade, and it was done. And if you notice, when you are using a dummy trend and a stop in those conditions here, if I, if I wanted to, I closed it. I manually closed it here when I saw the 7,000, okay? I closed it before 12 o'clock, that trade, and I pushed the button here. Now, from 12 o'clock till now, the market went all the way down here. If you were using trading stop, dummy trading stop, you would have knocked down a long time ago, knocked out of that trade. And at the same time, the market keep going. So from 12 o'clock until now, nothing really I missed. And that's why I manually force close this one here by pushing this button and locked 7,000 exactly. That's why you see it 7,000 exactly because I locked down the profit. So this is how uh, on this one here, you could have locked the profit here, here, here. Actually, we are doing something with our system. On one system, I'm working on it. We will release it. Uh, uh, we have something we're coming out with. When the market start topping up, uh, you're gonna have some kind of signal in there. And uh, we are working on it as we speak right now. We never stop developing. We never stop updating. We are constantly trying to keep up with the market. And here is a bozo coming in with the 20 years out of date. And he wanna go on the high performance trading. He's not gonna get up. And uh, ES, two minutes. This is a statement. Took a trade, lose a trade, wouldn't trade. 2400. And um, the eight range, if you want an eight range, here is an eight range. Uh, there is a lot of traders, older guys, that like to. Again, let me show you. This one here is using those bars. Took that trade, close at the change in, and look again. This was a valid short entry for manual trade and an automated trade. The market turned around on you. When it gets to neutral, immediately closed. The market turned around. You see, this is the difference between an ignorant trader and, and uh, a guy has been around. An ignorant trader, he'll say, oh, I lost the trade, you know, uh, three trades. Did you look at the chart? Yeah, but I'm auto trading, why? You know, because he don't understand, this one here is a perfect entry. The market turn around. It's not the auto trade problem, it's the market movement. Only naive trader thinks is the auto trade has nothing to do with the auto trade. It is a perfect entry, manual, automated trade, whatever, it is perfect entry. If we look at it from here, it's a perfect entry. When the blue color has been running for over an hour, and now start turning around, red, it is a perfect entry, even late entry. I would have taken it even from the uh, previous bar. And the market turned around. And then the market did not go any place. If you want to understand how powerful those bars are, if you notice the level, if you draw a line here, you can see the price line on those. You can see where the levels, the market goes on neutral. And then 
he went and took a short trade once it goes from the neutral to the red took a short trade the market turned around again then it was holding on the red the auto trade took short is a proper entry the market turned around on him and now is in the blue and then it was in the blue all the way and then look the concept is right the concept of this auto trade is right the market movement surprised us in here here is the, the those naive traders where they don't understand when they see someone soliciting an air uh, uh, I was gonna say an airplane so, soliciting um, an auto trade with five thousand dollar risk three hundred dollars reward with 500 ticks of stop loss and he's trying to occupy the trader by the PNL when you're gonna have a problem like this your five thousand dollar is gonna be smoked in the air your five thousand dollar is gonna be gone you're finished on the side you can whine about it you can cry about it you lost and it is your problem you lost because you're not counting your cost you don't count the PNL you'd count your cost this is only for marketing they want to occupy your eyes with the PNL to dismiss a black hole they're trying to avoid to tell you the cost of the trade is more important than your PNL I don't know I don't know how much I will be making tomorrow but I know what is my cost tomorrow I know I'm only allowed three trades on the DAX if those three trades on the DAX didn't succeed I'm stopping for today I know how much I will be losing tomorrow but I don't know how much I will be making tomorrow could be 7,000 could be 100 could be banana it depends on the market movement because I have no doubt this algorithm working perfectly so when the market is moving in the proper direction and no surprises in the market bang right there you are in the money when the market is start changing direction from the long to the short we nailed every single bit of it we did not leave any crumbs on the table for those loser traders those whining tra traders they whine all the time i'm not making money i don't know how to trade i don't have time i've been abused i cannot click the button well you know then don't trade you know so you can see you know i have a guy say his wife making him do the dishes he don't have time to look at the auto trade I said buy a dishwasher I mean what do you want me to do for you come and trade for you so you hear all kind of horror story the end of the line they are lazy like anything else in this life you have a guy have a nice house a nice car he works his ass off he works 18 hours a day and then you have a guy he sit down with a couple dogs eating bananas drinking beer and he's just whining he don't have luck well this is the same thing with the trading you, you work you earn you don't work you don't earn you're gonna keep whining and uh, be a man learn get it over with and have a freedom in your life because this is a freedom to your life <sighs> when you get married you go on a honeymoon and then you deal with diapers after the honeymoon children and all this here with the trading you deal directly with diapers and then the honeymoon comes after it's the opposite of a marriage when you are married you get married you go on a honeymoon you have the best time in your life you know and then uh, those babies start popping out you start dealing with diapers doctors middle of the weekends middle of the night and all hell break loose then maybe you're wishing you cut it off before you go on a honeymoon i don't know but here is you start with diapers and then once you start learning the trick you start honeymooning and for a long time so i know it's a little bit pain in the leg to 
sit down and learn a little bit. But believe me or not, it pays off on the long run. Some people might take him one year, some people might take him two years, some people might take him one month, some people might take him one week. But at the end of the day, if you put your head in it, put your money on the side, learn before you use a life money, you can do very well. Be patient. Uh, don't be uh, aggressive uh, and you will be fine. You know, but learn. Try to buy an auto trade from any company you want. If you know, if there is a support to learn about the market, you know, if you don't know how he trade, how he's gonna help you. If he hires someone else to come because he don't know how to trade a paper bag, how this guy is gonna help you read, uh, read in the market, you know? So if you see here, the auto trade took the short trade, perfect entry, took the last tick out of it, and we are done. Today, 2,000, tomorrow, 4,000, day after down 1,000, welcome to trading. We cannot be consistent on every single day. After 27 years, I still have an average of one losing day a week. I still have one losing day a week, average. And, um, and if you have one losing day a week, four days winning trades, you're doing fine. You know, so here is a little chop uh, on the NASDAQ, but also the same concept and made it 2300. And then uh, on the ES 11 range, 2200 is a medium size class uh, a chart. And it took one trade, two trade, no headache, no pain. This is a different type of an entry, but this is still the same auto trade. On the same auto trade, also you have a B scalper, A scalper, C scalper, where can uh, one for overnight trading, one for a day trading. Uh, there is a huge variety of entry. So here is uh, the four minutes NASDAQ, the 12 range. Gold, two minutes, scalping, CL 13 range. This is a, this is an important chart. Uh, YM 115 takes, ES three minutes, one minute ES, very consistent. Russell three minutes, Russell three minutes, but a different template. This one is trading different than this one because there is a many different entries. ES three minutes, Russell five minutes, 1445 on four minutes, 1150 on 540 takes, and 1112 on an ES one minute. So this is one type, the totally different type than the, uh, the, the precision auto trade. The precision auto trade there is only one entry you don't need a filter this is a big variety of filters with entries 10 different entries the scalper for today based on 13 seconds this is also total different automated very friendly use you don't need to uh, deal with it a lot you can manage it it's very easy to manage hardly have any filters this is a scalping based on 30 seconds, 1,650. If you want to use the five minutes, took only one trade, 1,900, if you notice. 1,900, one trade, perfect entry, perfect exit. Done. So... It is very important who you are, what kind of risks you want to take, and how much knowledge you have. Do you want to trade overnight? You want to trade in the morning? You want to trade in the afternoon? You want to trade in European hours? What is your knowledge? What is your risk? What is your account? 
and then uh, we will take it from there and we try to help you again I wanna I said that yesterday I will say that without looking at technical chart before you start auto trading you're not gonna get anywhere our job to teach you how to look at the technical chart for five minutes before you start using auto trades in the morning as I showed you yesterday sometimes the market is stuck between channel and then you say okay I will wait five minutes then I start my auto trade the secret in the auto trading if you just take five minutes of your time before you start your auto trading and look at your technical chart that can prevent a lot of losses because sometimes the market is stuck in a channel between resistance and support or it could be in very tight could be sideways and then if we see this market is a stock it's not going anywhere we wait five minutes max ten minutes and we turn on the auto train if we get up in the morning and we see our technical chart is trending we turn on the auto trade right away here is what we we've, we've been teaching people for the last 15 years it's the same class the same teacher some people can get a plus some people they never get it what we have find out in the last 15 years teaching hundreds of traders a guy don't look at the technical chart he's taking much higher risk than a guy looking at the technical chart for five minutes before he auto traded looking at your technical chart for five minutes in the morning before you start auto trading look at the market I mean you know don't look at the chart and uh, excuse me and read the some kind of magazine I mean look at the chart for real and trying to figure out what's going on in the market whether you are a new trader or an old trader just even if you are a new trader you will learn as you go and you start seeing things you start seeing those numbers talking to you day after day most of the auto trader you tell him today as an example if you tell him today the market closed at 4642 he don't know what this number mean but today let's say okay the market closed at 4642 tomorrow you see the 4642 means something to you when we are when you close a position on eight thousand dollar trade or on seven thousand dollar trade at four thousand six hundred that number remains in your brain next time you trade in you bump into this number you recognize this number now the numbers start talking to you once the numbers start talking to you you start getting into the market you don't treat the auto trade as a wash machine or a coffee machine you know so yes it is very healthy to look at your technical chart one of the some of the questions sometimes we get with those newbies Sam should I turn on my auto trade at 9 o'clock or 9 30 or 9 45 how would I know tomorrow if you need to start auto trading at 9 o'clock or 9 30 or 9 45 the only time I know that is tomorrow when I turn on my ninja trader and look at the technical chart and see what's going on in the market then I can determine to start diving into this big pile of mud or not or stay away you know so when you are treating the, the auto trade as a wash machine or as a coffee machine you push the button and coffee come out and when you are treating the auto trade as an ATM machine you just turn it on and the money is supposed to come from the other side I don't know which side it's gonna come from uh, but uh, it's not gonna come out of nowhere you know so um, that is the key to the success this is the first step of the key of the success not the auto trade 
Of course, you have to have a good auto trade, not those slousy auto trade above, below, move and average. But this is the first step. Key success is to look at your technical chart. Whatever is your technical chart from, and don't look at the Renko bar because your competitor, the other guy, is trying to whack your money. You're putting your account on the table, and he's putting his account on the table. Let me show you an example here. If we notice on the EIS here, it's a free ride. Now the market is finished, it's closed. Let's say you get up in the morning and the market is in here, in this area here. You have a heavy support and you have a heavy resistance. You're not going to survive whether you are manual trader, auto trading. It doesn't matter which auto trade you are using, whether mine or somebody else, you're not going to make it. So after 27 years, if I'm sitting here on the ES, when I get up in the morning and the ES in that condition and the ES, let's say, is on 4631, I'm not touching this market. I'm staying on the side because it's a suicide. Which direction this market gonna go? Which number is gonna hold? Which one is gonna project from? When you are trading on, let's say on 4631 here in the morning and you're not looking at this chart, there is a three support and three resistance. Where do you wanna go with this? You're not gonna make it. You are not going to make it. So don't say because you have a wash machine called auto trade and it is not your problem. It is your problem when you lose your money. When the other guy on the other side is using a smarter auto trade than you are, he's more educated than you are, and he's looking at the chart and he sees trouble, he stays out and you jump in, you're going to lose money and he's going to laugh at you. You know, he stays out, he's smart, because he knows that here is not his game. Another thing we find out on the last 15 years, people with big capital, um, you know, we talk about 50,000, 75,000, 250,000. Uh, there is some people, a million. We have one client with 9 million for this one here. Anyway, we find out that more people have money, the more disciplined and educated. Uh, the only the noisy one, the ones have $2,000 in their account. The less money they have, the less experience they have, those are the ones they make noises in the market, you know. And then uh, they come out with, with the theory that if I make 2000 today, I need to make 4000 tomorrow. The 4000 I want to double it up to 8000 I'm not asking for much, Sam. And then the 8000 to 16000 Yeah, I mean, I love those cigarettes you are smoking. I, I would love to have some of them for those holidays. But um, how are you going to get from 2000 to 4000 And uh, which idiot worldwide can double up his money on every day. I have never met an idiot can do that. And why you think you're gonna fly? Even the, the best traders in the world cannot go 100% every day. Not even the bigger companies, not in institutionals. And here is a guy with a couple thousand dollars. He wanna get 100% profit every single day. How are you gonna have an elephant fly. I have no idea where he's getting those ideas from because he has seen so many commercials. But the reality is you cannot, you can lose $50,000 a day, but you're not gonna make $50,000 a day. Losing money in the trading, any kind of trading, whether you are on the Bitcoin, 
future trading or any other trading. Losing money is faster than making money. So guys, again and again, in 2022, it's not going to be a piece of cake. It's going to be a piece of cucumber here. And, and you better be careful. So you better get your tools right. Lock your account. Don't mess with your account. Find any system you like worldwide. Learn. And then turn on your wash machine, please. And... Um, and I'm sharing this experience. Some people that will not say that. They just want to tell you here, we made 5,000 here, 10,000 here, here, how to optimize, have a nice life. We don't want to talk to you. In 2022, it's not going to be a piece of cake. It's going to be a lot of volatility, a lot of things going on in the market. I have never seen the U.S. as, as now with the economy. The economy is really shaking. And there is a lot of shock waves in there. It's going to be next year. So please protect your money, protect your investment, protect your livelihood, learn, then trade, whether you are a manual trading or not. If you are not going to do that, in six months from now, you're going to bump into this video and you say this crazy Sam told me and I didn't listen. This is a place where you don't mess with. You make a mistake, you're going to pay for it on the spot. Whether you have a blue eyes or a brown eyes is irrelevant. You're going to be paying the price on the spot. Here, there is no place for mistakes. The ones are right, they're going to get rewarded. The ones they work, they're going to get rewarded. The ones they ignore the charts, they're going to get whacked. And they're going to be spanked as well. So, again, guys, it takes five minutes. Look at this bar. Let's say right now I want to auto trade for Globex. And look at this market. It's one line. Where are you going to get your ticks from? Where are you going to get the hair out of a bullheaded man here? You have the auto trade on, whether you are using A auto trade, B auto trade, banana auto trade, whatever you are using, where the money is going to come from when you are auto trading here. Just explain to me. It is one straight line. There is no takes. Where are you going to get your money from? Yeah, you turn on your auto trade. You're man enough. But where is the trend? There is no trend. There is no money. So it's not the auto trade. It's you controlling the auto trade. You have not looked at the chart. For the last 15 years, again and again and again, for the last 15 years, anyone don't look at the technical chart in the morning, guaranteed, you're not going to make it next year, especially next year. Next year is going to filter all those noisy traders. All of them, they're going to be out of miserable. So uh, I'm just giving an advice and do whatever you want. Uh, folks, that's all what we have. I wish you a very pleasant evening, and uh, we will see you whenever we see you. Thank you very much, and God bless you all, and be safe.